Welcome to this week's episode of Paleo No She Didn't, the show where sometimes it's paleo and sometimes it's not. Because who fucking cares? It's my show. We do what I want. Recently, I had a bit of a hankering for spinach artichoke dip. I know, I'm disgusting. No judgment, no judgment, except lots of judgment. But I didn't want to actually eat spinach artichoke dip because I also didn't want to be fat. Err, keyword. Came up with an idea to stuff chicken with a kind of paleofied version of spinach artichoke dip. I feel like dipping is probably one of the fourth or fifth things you learn to do as a child. Number one, open your eyes. Number two, fart. Three, um, who has children? Fourth thing that children learn to do is disappoint their parents. Followed by dipping food, right? You've got Dunkaroos, chips and queso, chips and salsa, chips and guacamole. We're not talking about chips here today. We are talking about chicken. We're talking about chicken. I think that Freak Nasty said it best when he said, when I dip, you dip, we all dip. So this is a fairly simple dish to prepare. But the hard part will be a little bit of the technique, slicing the chicken breast open just enough so we can shove it all that and dip without um, tearing open the breast. Essentially, we're gonna be giving these chicken breast implants, or as I like to call them, dip plants. Coming to you on an episode of Botched, I'm sure, because you would die if you put mayonnaise into your tit. To start, you're going to take your spinach and you're going to saute it until it wilts. As we all know, spinach is pretty much the biggest fraud in the vegetable world. Because you start out with this and you end up with this, pretty much nothing. I'm adding this five ounce bag of washed spinach. Watch as this spinach disappears right before your very eyes. Just like America's reputation on the global political scale. We're a laughing stock. So turn off the heat. And now I'm going to drain our spinach because we don't want that water and that sogginess ending up in our stuffing. Excuse me, <laughs> implant. Now I'm gonna cut a slit into the fatty part of the chicken breast. That's gotta be like a D or at least a C, I'm guessing. And I'm gonna cut a bit of a slit through the top here without cutting through either side of the breast tissue. Help me, I'm poor. <laughs> well, that's why you're getting implants, honey. You'll never have to pay for anything again. So now we're gonna make the filling. So with your drained spinach, you're gonna end up with pretty much a baseball size. <laughs> amount of cooked spinach. This is, like this is like fraud. So you end up having about a half a cup, three quarters of a cup of cooked spinach, and then about a half a cup of chopped artichoke heart, and chopped pretty finely, because remember, this is gonna be a filling, and we're gonna eat it, so we don't want to choke on it. And to this, I'm going to do um, a little bit of onion powder, and I kinda just eyeball it, but it probably is, it ends up being about a half a teaspoon. And I'm also gonna salt and pepper this. So I'm gonna start with a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise, and if you need more, you can add a little bit later. Better to start light and add from there. And then I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of my goat cheese, and I'm just using the plain goat cheese. And then you just start to combine, making sure that you get all that goat cheese evenly distributed. It's really smart if you leave your goat cheese out for about 15 or 20 minutes before you make this, at least so that it softens and it becomes a little bit easier to, to mix together. Implant time. So we're gonna take our chicken breasts and take the opening and then basically just shove as much filling in as you can. It's pooping it out, it's pooping it out. Abort. Okay, well if you did what I just did and you actually, you cut a hole at the bottom of the chicken, well then just get on with your life. It's fine. 
I'm just gonna flip it upside down and you know, hope for the best. In a very large pan, bring your heat to kind of a medium high and do about a tablespoon drizzle of olive oil in the pan. And while you let that heat, go ahead and salt and pepper the outside of your chicken. And remember to do both sides. Now that our chicken's been seasoned, I'm going to place them in the pan. And we're gonna cook the chicken for about seven minutes or so on each side, essentially cooking it all the way through. So just sprinkle the top with whatever is your desired amount of Parmesan cheese. That chicken looks good and it smells good. That Parmesan cheese with that salty nuttiness is just smacking me in the face. Just like a real pair of big fake breasticles. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is bomb. There's really not that much cheese in this recipe, and yet it tastes so creamy and cheesy. Oh, this filling is so good. Mmm, oh my God. Yes. yes. Well done. Well done. That's it for this edition of Paleo No She Didn't. And remember, girl, Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs>